What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm so excited. I have been wanting to do this for so, so, so long. I don't know why I put it off, but today we're organizing my fridge. Those of you that know me know that I'm obsessed with organizing. It is my form of therapy. Literally, I'm just gonna turn on some music, do some organizing, and take you guys with me, let you watch me organize. So I went to the store, I got all my organizers, got everything ready here. Most of the stuff I bought at Canadian Tire because I wanted to use Home Edit. If you don't know, Home Ed is actually sold at Canadian Tire for my Canadian girls. Um, if you're in the US, you can just go to Cana um, Container Store. You know, it's always easier for the US people. And then some items I did get on Amazon. So I'm super excited. I have my handy dandy little like label scraper here, my little rubber feet to put on my organizers. I'm excited. Oh, also weird enough, I actually get a lot of questions on my fridge. Like I get so many DMs asking what model my fridge is. I know that it's from Gen Air, but I don't know the exact model name off by heart, but I will leave my fridge and model name down below in the description box. I love this fridge. It is so sick, you guys. I love just how clean and sleek it is, but I love that it's black inside. Like, I just love that it's different. A lot of uh, fridges are white inside, and I just love the black. It keeps everything very sleek looking. I love it. Okay, real quick before we get into the fridge organizing, I want to go ahead and give a huge shout out to Built Bar. I have been working with them for a little while now, and I'm a huge fan, and I'm completely obsessed with their protein bars. They're the only protein bars I can eat. Honestly, after a while, I stopped eating protein bars because I tried so many different ones and they all had a grainy taste. They all just did not taste good. These taste good. They legit taste like a candy bar, like a dessert, especially if you warm it up in the microwave. I've actually had so many of you message me saying that you got this with my code and that you're completely obsessed. So I'm happy you guys are loving them. If you have not tried these, you definitely need to. They are high protein, low sugar, and low calorie. They're like the lowest calorie protein bar I've ever found. They have so many flavors too. Like you have this one, lemon almond cheesecake they have a banana bread flavor which literally tastes like banana bread when you warm it up in the microwave so if you guys want to check out built bar you can go ahead and get 10% off using my code I'm also gonna leave my link in the description box down and below so this is what the fridge is looking like right now just kind of you know a standard fridge that's all messy and just everything is kind of staggered everywhere so this is what we're working with we have some leftover um, salad from yesterday's Japanese takeout. We have some a free cheesecake that came when I ordered pizza from Domino's over the weekend. It just like came with it. It was free. I didn't really want it because it's caramel. I'm not a huge fan of caramel, so whatever. Yeah, this is just what we're working with. Some dead cilantro. Not dead, whatever. What do you call it? Whatever. It's going bad. Some cilantro that needs to be thrown out. Some leftover rice. This is what we're working with. Definitely need to clean the fridge. We got, you know, little dusties here. <laughs> Not dusties, crumbs. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. So I'm gonna go through, clean everything. First thing I'm gonna do is like take out any expired food, which I don't really have that many expired, that much expired food. I would say it's just the cilantro probably. I'm gonna take a look at the onions and then that's pretty much it. I try not to overbuy things. Like I try to just, when I go grocery shopping, buy what I'm gonna cook that week. And by doing that, I don't really ever have that many expired items. Also, we are not doing the freezer today, you guys. And that is just because I took all the measurements and everything for the freezer. And after taking all the measurements, I couldn't find any organizers that would make the most out of the space if i did use organizers they would actually take up more room and i wouldn't be able to fit as much food so it just didn't work i think it's the shape of like my freezer it's hard to see but the bottom like the back over there is kind of like curves so you can't properly sit an organizer in it and you would lose all the space on the bottom it's just hard to explain but i would lose more space by trying to like organize it which is a rare circumstance but it's the circumstance for this so i'm not going to organize it um it's pretty like sectioned off we have like meat over there frozen items over there so yeah i'm okay with the freezer can't do much about it <laughs> okay so we have all of the organizers here there's actually a lot but they're all stacked up in this canadian tire bag so many so i decided to go with the home edit because they actually have a fridge section like they have an entire collection dedicated to fridge and this time you guys i didn't have to go raid the gta looking for these okay they actually had them near me so that was good because if you watch my pantry video then you know that i literally had to drive all around the gta i even went all the way to water down like i had to drive 
everywhere from like 20 minutes away to like an hour and a half away literally just searching for organizers but it looks like they restocked so it wasn't crazy this time but anyways i got so many items we even got these like really cute um berry bins like these are perfect to put berries in them like blueberries strawberries and stuff so i got a couple of those but more divided fridge drawers so i can't open it because it's taped but this is an actual drawer so those are really good i got these from amazon wait until you guys see like honestly these can be used for so many things in my pantry i use it for fruit but for the fridge you can use it for so many different things water bottles like you see here i'm going to be using it for bread because it's something you want to just like pull out because you can see it's open here anyways we got a bunch of organizers and this is making me excited like these are the things that i get excited about for in life y'all like these are the things that get me going i don't think sugar is like as excited <laughs> sugar baby oh my goodness fluffy duffy boy fluffy scruffy duffy boy also you guys um i wanted to show you how my pantry looks it still looks good like i've still kept it up because honestly when it comes to me like when it comes to organizing as long as everything has a place i'm good at keeping up with it but that's also why i like to keep those general bins like how i was telling you guys when i did my pantry um general bins are good they make sure that you like um keep everything organized so yeah look i've done a good job at keeping it up and i promise i didn't fix any of this by the way before i turned on the camera okay so if you guys watch my organizing videos then you know that i always do this i always take a picture of what i'm going to organize and i will plan it out ahead of time like where i want to put things because it just makes the process easier if i have like a direction and a plan and i know where i'm going with everything it also makes shopping easier um, and then another thing that I also do is make sure I measure everything ahead of time. So I removed all of the stickers finally. As annoying as it is, this little guy makes it a lot easier. Oh, I forgot a sticker. Um, this is so cool. Like, I can't wait to install this. This is actually an egg drawer. So this is really cool. And you can divide it different ways. I actually got this on Amazon. Okay, the entire fridge is empty now and all clean. The food is here and it is still pretty sectioned off. Also, don't worry, I purposely left the food that goes bad quicker in the fridge last. So nothing will go bad. It won't be sitting out here long, so yeah. So for cheese and deli meat, there really isn't much organizing because I have this drawer at the bottom of my fridge that I really like and it's pretty organized on its own, obviously. You really don't need much. So I'm just going to keep the cheese and like any sort of deli meat in this section. Also, I forgot to mention you guys, um, I am going to be getting labels, but I didn't get them in time for the video. So I'm going to get them afterwards and just put them on it at the end. But I just put all of this away and the protein shakes are on the back there, which is totally fine for me because when I want a protein shake, I literally just reach at the back and grab it. So that works for me. And also in between you guys, when I am not using the fridge, I'm closing it to make sure I'm saving energy and, you know, just not wasting. So for the veggies, I usually just put them right in this drawer all right so i just put these bins up top for the bread yeah you can see that i did bread and then flex so flex zones are really important because you might buy something random one day like you know or you might have a family over and they bring something or you might get extra takeout there's just you know you're not gonna get the exact same thing every single week we're not robots so having this like empty area just to put like anything as like an other zone is really good so i might fill it up for now with bread just to make it look cute but it can always get you know the bread can always get pushed there and have that as like a flex zone and right now i need to go grocery shopping for more bread so i just have like you know it's all running out um normally you know we would fill up this whole thing either way we got lots of room and over there 
I am gonna put waffles. For example, waffles is not something that I buy every single week. It's kind of like random if I'm craving it, but at least there's a spot for it now. All right, another kind of flex zone is this down here because this is where I usually keep like leftovers or meal prep. So we have prepped rice and then obviously some leftovers from takeout here. So this is this like section is constantly changing. Okay, so as you can see, we've made some progress. So here's what happened, you guys. I bought this um, egg drawer, which is actually really nice and will work for most people's kitchens. So I will still link it down below because it's so nice and it's actually really easy to install. But you see the depth over here? Um, my shelves are too thick. So especially at the back, the back is like super thick. So it literally just won't fit, but it will fit most like standard fridges. So I still think it's a really great idea. But for now, this is what we're working with. And I feel like this looks really good. Like, okay, we're getting a lot of reflection from the sun, but um, this looks really good. We have the strawberries right here. We have the grapes right there. Um, if I have other berries, I'll go ahead and switch everything out. I also have another container so that if I push everything open over, I can fit another berry container there. I can also pull this out, fit more things here. Again, a nice little flex zone if we have people over and there's like cakes or leftovers. You know how people bring food. Um, so you can always pull that out for more space. Um, and then down here, it looks like we kind of have like some extra space too. So I might spread it out. But then again, if you have leftovers or takeout or whatever, you can always shift the organizers over. And as you can see, there's so much space still. I kind of leave this area designated for sugar. As you can see, he's eating some yogurt right now on his little licking mat. Um, so I leave this little space for sugar because it's the closest to like his bowl. Okay, I just found a way better container for the vegetable broth. So vegetable broth is something I always, always have on hand. This fits perfectly, like perfectly. So I'm gonna put the vegetable broths in here because this is so much wasted space and you are just taking up space for nothing. So I'm gonna switch out this bin. So this is how I organized the side. I figured I would put the cilantro right here. I've always put cilantro there, but it takes up so much space. Sugar baby, leave it alone. He sees a German shepherd outside. Um, yeah, so I figured that makes the most sense. And I can't believe how much empty space there was down there, but honestly, I'm happy with it. I'm leaving it empty because, you know, sometimes you always just get random things from the grocery store and you need some extra space, so. And then this is how I organized the side over here. I know this looks empty, but once I open up a can of black beans, it's over. This is gonna be full <laughs> because I always open up a can and I don't use the whole can and then I put in a container and then I need that spot for it. So that's why the corn is there, but yeah, looking good. Does this fit over here? Oh, it does. Okay, that makes a lot more sense to keep that there. So I will keep that there. All right, so that is it, you guys. The fridge is organized now, and of course it doesn't look extremely different, but it definitely looks a lot more organized. I would honestly, out of all of the areas in my home that I've organized, I would say this fridge has given me a run for my, like I've just, it's been the worst to organize, and I feel like that's because fridges already come organized, so you're kind of competing, and you have to just find specific things that work. A few things did not work out, as you guys can see, I didn't even use those drawer organizers. I don't know why I bought them. I'm not mad at it though, because I know I'll find a use for it. Um, but yeah, uh, a couple things didn't work out, but I'm really happy overall with how everything ended up looking and turning out. I feel like it looks like I don't have a lot of food, <laughs> but I 
this works for us. I mean, we're only two people. I think that's why we're literally only two people. If you have a big family, I'm sure your fridge is like stacked, but this is like a normal amount of food for us. This is stacked. I mean, I went grocery shopping yesterday. I did forget to get broccoli though. So over here we have the onions and the reason why I left the divider in there is because a lot of the times I actually have like white onion or just a different type of onion and then I can just put it in the back right there. Love this berry bin, you guys, because you can actually take the bin out and wash your fruit because there's like a strainer, like, you know, it comes out. So it's really convenient. All right, so my lipstick is probably all worn off. I've just been here for hours and hours organizing. It's been about three, four hours. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy just coming along with me and organizing my fridge. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. And I feel like it's organized, it looks good, and it's practical. The labels would have just made it you know once i get them i'll post like on instagram or whatever just to give you guys a little update but yeah so that is pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed watching my fridge organization and honestly the next thing your girl has to organize is underneath the kitchen sink the spice rack um underneath the laundry room sink is a complete mess so what i'm thinking i'm probably just gonna maybe just do a full organizing vlog where i just organize different parts of my home and kind of just compile it for you guys either way i will turn on the camera and take you guys with me whenever i organize the rest of my home because i know you guys enjoy it and i enjoy it so everybody's happy so yeah that's pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video bye guys Mwah.